Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dry Racing channel. As you can see, uh, we're doing something different that we haven't done this channel for, and that is karting. We are at Daytona Raceway in Tamworth in the Midlands in the UK. This is my first go at outdoor karting. Um, this is me trying to get over the crash um, at Chelsea. I've got to be honest with you now, I am very, very nervous with uh, just heading out onto a track again. Um, I didn't say this to my partner before we both went out, who's just behind me. But uh, yeah, very nervous about just actually just get back into the car and driving with a little bit of anger. So I'm taking it easy for the first few laps. Don't know this track at all, never been here before. So wanted just to get out there. The car's still in bits. It was 20 quid just for this 20 minute practice session. Uh, the day was going to be lovely and dry, so I thought, well, why not? And just, uh, but just have some cobwebs and go for it, really. Um, yeah, so the track's good. The carts are uh, 50 mile an hour carts, four stroke. Nothing too uh, fancy. They don't let you into the, what they call the D Max on this track until you've uh, done a few sessions and races here at this track, which are a lot quicker. Two stroke carts, up to 70 mile an hour. With them. They're a lot, lot faster. So. Uh, yeah, so just getting hung on, driving outside, finding the grip, seeing where the tracks and the lines are. Uh, straight away I did notice that I am uh, very heavy compared to drivers around me. I noticed that um, my fiance behind, she's a lot lighter than me, probably 25 kilos lighter than me. It is very, very noticeable at one point when um, she does come past, which I'll show you later on. Um, but yeah, still trying to get used to the track, obviously you can see, I'm just on my own here. Uh, trying to learn if I can go flat through there. This is obviously someone who's been here before. Just letting them through, I wasn't too bothered about racing anyone or just out here. Trying to find uh, my mojo again. Um, just pushing, I just find that 1% each corner. Just tag it on 1% each time to find the limit because uh, I think I pushed myself too hard in the Clio and I, I'm paying the price for it in terms of anxiety when it comes to getting back on track. So this is the reason I've come here today. But yeah, so enjoying the track. Um, these few corners, this is definitely a technical track around this like, last part of this track here. Uh, learning what best, how, how flat you can go through it. Uh, this 90 degree left here is quite tight actually. You could probably do safely flat. But I'm told to jump into the pits, which I'm confused about. I can't think of doing anything wrong. <laughs> or was thinking, am I that slow? They're telling me you need to get off the track. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to what he's got to say. Gordon, is something wrong then? Can you see you're adjusting or anything when you. Uh, yeah. Uh, a little bit more length. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go back? Yeah. Who doesn't like a bit more length? Yeah, so, transponder wasn't working, um, which wouldn't give me any lap times, which I don't think would have mattered anyway <laughs> in relation to uh, the lap times I was doing. I still find the track. Um, I did feel like this car wasn't as fast as the other one, um, but flat out, just uh, through these S's, there's no lifting through here. A uh, little bit of lift here for me uh, at the beginning, but that uh, look how much track I've got left. Um, we're probably up to close to that top speed of the car now. Braking by those tyres for me, like nice late apex to get on the power. Um, I think you can use that concrete on the left, but I decided uh, just to stuff that for now and just use the grey tyre that's been presented in front of me. This corner is quite difficult, a little bit unsighted apex, not sure where the braking is there. Tyres are a little bit cold, and uh, I could tell from. Uh, the tyres on the other one, they still had the fresh paint marks on the lines where they haven't been used. They were new tyres, these were a little bit older. So I was struggling with a little bit of rip and they were cold. Um, soon get them up to temperature on this track, on this sort of weather. But I did feel like the cart was struggling with my weight. Now, this place, uh, Daytona, uh, they've got a place in Sandown. Was it Sandown? I think it's Sandown and Milton Keynes, uh, quite a prestigious, not prestigious, but well-known 
uh, karting company, uh, lots of Formula 1 drivers have been to these at their outdoor tracks. They run championships, they run a Thursday night championship, uh, which I can't do because I coach rugby, and they run a, a Super Champs championship, which is uh, run six weeks, six, six weeks or eight events over a spring season, a summer season, and a, an autumn season as such. Um, they run the same tyres if it's wet, which would be very interesting. And um, they have different sort of um, classes. So there's a lightweight, which is um, in this car anything up to uh, 78 kilos. And then 78 plus is heavyweight, which is what I'd fall in because there's no way with no kit on up to 90 kilos. We come up to a yellow flashing light, which means half race speed, as there's something going on on the track. So everyone's slowing down, what we got up ahead? Nothing at the moment, so obviously just, they've sorted that. I'm going back on green, set itself nice up for the start finish. Now that start finish line is for the Indy track, which goes right there. So this may be for the Bambinos and the Cadets, but the start finish is here, on the main track. Um, as we start to catch up with some people now, which is nice. Um, so start to find a little bit of pace using all the track there, trying to keep up with the number 25 ahead. Um, but then you can see... I've got a little bit of pace on this gentleman, and it took a crash there. He's braked too hard as well and locked up and spun. So all three crash out of that corner behind me. I'll just leave them in my wake. Um, let this guy through. Seems to have a lot of pace. Um, definitely working the steering wheel and the tyres in that car and I'm just seeing his lines, watching what he's doing he's carried so much speed there, he must be, at, he must be flat through there and just controlling that drift same through here as well, so I'm just seeing and learning what everyone else is doing and then you can see here the weight difference, so obviously he's do a lot lighter than me so I came through the corner and he was stopped I'm trying to find a way through, but I've just got no pace. So I'm just following through, so we got a little bit of stream. They've lifted, so I'm going to try to hold the throttle, but again, that weight slowing me down. Left the door open a little bit here for me, but then we've got a yellow flag. Oh, I slowed down to half pace. That hasn't been seen by them. We may have passed the uh, flag. Uh, but there's no green flag yet, so you shouldn't really be up to full pace yet. And there's your green, so now I can start picking up again, which is do. So I'm following the rules and letters of the law. It's my first time here, so I don't want to get any sort of <laughs> reprimand. Um, if you're well known and you know what you're doing, and you know what, what's been cleared and what's not, and how it looks, then that's a bit different. Anyway, what was I saying? The heavyweight class, yeah. If, uh, if I could lose 12 kilo, I'd be at the bottom of that heavyweight class, so I'd still have a long way to go in terms of being competitive but um, as I just clip the barrier there as I'm trying to find uh, more of the track but I think in the future this, I'll probably use this over the next summer now my clear is not going to be probably fixed for the rest of the season um, there's more damage than I thought there was all around suspension I will probably look at trying to do a bit of karting just to keep me going so I don't lose that not racing edge but like just driving in anger, finding limits and pushing a vehicle to a point where you could lose it um, my, my lap times all through the session were just slowly, 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 slowly getting faster but 1% each time, getting faster and faster um, I was no, my, no means last but um, I wasn't first either, I came 10th out of 16 which I was happy with um, Alex, my fiance, she's done a fantastic time at 64 with the fastest time of the day being 63. So she's definitely got some pace with these carts. Um, so maybe this is something for her to do in the future as well. I'd love for her to get involved in some sort of racing. She's got a very natural skilled driver, so she should give it a go. I think she passes me at some point, so we'll, we'll see. That's not her. I know it comes up at that point in the lap somewhere because she waves at me at some point. Uh, but going flat through here now, so I've definitely found some confidence in the car and the tyres and just learning what this car can do. It's number five, 
seems to have been here before and knows a bit of pace. But slow down a little bit there. I didn't know he thought I was going to send it down the inside. But up the hill, you see he's got just that little pace. But had a, such a wider line through there that I think I'm trying to race the perfect line. And I think car is a little bit different. His number 12 is fast. Carries a lot of speed through that entry phase of the corners. Still struggling with this corner. It became a, a slight lift for me rather than a break in the end. But I could use a lot more of the track there. That was flat now, that 90 degree left. And struggle with this as soon as I've lost any speed. I just can't pick it back up again. Just down to my weight. I could feel the car to <laughs> chug me along. Three squabbling ahead. We're coming around these corners now. I think one of these may be Alex. She's fighting with. I'm not sure. No, she hasn't passed me yet. She must have passed me in a bit. These lot are fighting hard. I'm still enjoying it. Um, I've got to say, I'm not as fit as I thought I would be. Um, forearms are starting to burn now, hands are starting to hurt. I can tell you now, I'm sat two hours after the uh, practice making this um, session and this video and um, my neck is killing. So we've got a spun car there. Get the I've got the power down on the apex there, look at the difference in speed pulling away. There goes Alex, there she is. Dick, <laughs> open her hand at me. Look at the difference in speed, she just flies away from me. I've got foot flats, there's, there's nothing I can do there, it's just foot flats to the floor. Either the, either the cart's a little bit old, I know they've had just had some new carts, because Milton Keynes have got some brand new ones. And, um, yeah, she's just flying around, um, enjoying low weight cart. Yeah, so she's uh, going to join that group up ahead and have a little battle. I'm just going to try and follow some lines. There's a little bit of uh, something going on there. Maybe a little bit of lock-up, a little bit of contact, I saw. Very difficult to be aware of what's around you as well. You can focus on what's ahead, but you've got to be aware of what's coming left and right. Difficult to defend, really. So a new way of racing. See, it appears out of nowhere. Let him go around the outside. And they, uh, as Alex gets absolutely smashed off the track, I control a bit of uh, four-wheel lock-up. Which I was happy to control because that's happening in my clear, and I'll just drive off with Alex stuck on the barrier, which I didn't know at the time. So, yeah, so now we're flat through, I'm just not making any gains on the car's front. Hitting apex nicely and carrying some speed. This one, I tried a little bit of a wider line and to come through narrow. I'm flat up here. The, the inclines are a lot steeper than the, the video looks. And just trying to find some pace, send it in on this number 22 here. Which I managed to do, which is good. So that's my first, I think it's my first genuine overtake of the day, which was nice to finally uh, go forwards instead of watching anyone go past me. So, yellow flag again, yellow flashing lights. I thought it was Alex stuck, but another person stuck, so some people are struggling with the braking for this corner. And you can just hear the car trying its hardest to push through up that hill on a little uh, start finish straight there just by the clubhouse. Breaking markers by these tyres for me. Start to slow down and I'll try and carry the speed through the apex. The power's on early now. I think this is probably one of my fastest laps of the race. There is no interruptions and no traffic. I'm looking to see if those carts are catching up behind.
don't hit those curbs. These curbs are uh, very, very vicious and they will send you a little bit flying as I'm resting with the wheel, but then I think carry the speed through. Got to wrestle with the wheel, I think, while keeping the foot planted. If you've got any tips or anything like that, please uh, let me know because I need all the help I can get. Readjusting my hands because my hands are hurting. But I did notice that usually when going karting you borrow their helmets and they are quite heavy. I'm wearing my carbon helmet from uh, Hill Climb and as like I say it's very light. I control my head a lot more and even though my neck's hurting it'll probably be a lot worse now. I know Alex is she's struggling already. Yeah, tires squealing, I'm starting to find a little bit of time finding the limit of what the car can do and how I can carry speed I can't use my ways as, as an excuse, I've just got to try and keep pushing and pushing and pushing too narrow through there, not carrying a lot of speed I think this, on reflection, could be easy flat this is flat and this is the struggle, the corner I really struggle with, struggle with tried to carry more speed through and it just sent me over to the left hand side all flat through these corners no issue at all the D-Maxes are flat through here the faster carts but they have to lift for this bit here especially on cold tyres I had a quick watch afterwards and they're definitely quick so I'd like to give them a go So I found some rhythm and just really enjoyed just being on my own, just back and doing something that resembles racing, even if it's just an open practice at a go to our track. It's, as we get a yellow, you know the yellow flag ruining probably what I felt like was being good, but let's cut forward to another car, number 22 again, caught them up, which was good and just seeing how I could overtake someone who's a lot lighter than me because I've got the power on, but I got power on a lot earlier which is good and then they seem to go and carry a bit of speed through here and again there's the speed look, that's what I don't have pulling away, pulling away even in a, in a little bit of a, what, what you could have a slipstream I just need to look for that gap, I need to do it on the brakes, can I do it on the brakes left the door open, I'm going to carry it all the way through and there it is so, Another good overtake using weight to my advantage because I can break probably a little bit later due to my weight and weight helping slowing down the cart. So good, good little carts, really enjoyed them. Hard work on the arms, um, which is a bit more power because of me, but that's probably me needing to lose weight. definitely finding more speed for that corner using all the track as we get another yellow flashing someone who's absolutely sent it into barrier art all the fans cheering me on thank you and basically we keep pumping these laps out now for a good 20 minute session that's all this was and there's a the checkered flag Nice half speed now, bring it back to the pits. Into the pits we go, very bumpy, no suspension on that, that's probably the bit that hurt the most. It looks like we won the race because we're at the front, but it wasn't a race, but I thought maybe the spectators thought we might have won. And that's that, that was a 20 minute session at Daytona Tamworth, and I really enjoyed it. So I'll be looking to go in the future, see what sort, they do some sort of open races where you don't have to commit to a championship and you could just cut, turn up and have a qualifying session and a, and a 20 minute race as they open the gate the wrong way. Um, trying to find my lovely partner who's smashed me and beat my lap time by a good three seconds.
There she is. That's fun? Yeah. <laughs> Sound enthusiastic. Yeah, this one, yeah, transponder was gone. Huh? Transponder was gone. I thought I'd done something wrong. <laughs> what do you mean you thought you'd done something wrong? And that's it. That's racing. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.